Hey students in geometry class, I'm going to make a nice short video today um, about some of the problems that Miss uh, Ayub had assigned uh, at the earlier in the week. Okay, um, just wanted to show you all my face for a couple minutes or a couple seconds, and I'm prob now I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, so um, we're gonna go over these assignments that Ms. Ayub, like I said, posted, looks like on um, Tuesday. Um, in addition to that, she, there are also some other um, videos up here posted this week in Google Classroom. Okay, these are Edpuzzle videos, and we all know that Edpuzzle videos have questions embedded right in the videos. So please check those out too. Okay. Um, we have this assignment here, which is um, we have this assignment here, which is talking about inscribed angles. Um, okay, so I'm just going to go over that. Uh, to, to be honest with you, I'm not going to make this a long video today because uh, a lot of this stuff is pretty is actually pretty easy. So it's really just kind of learning the rules and then going from there. So, all right, say, oh, say goodbye to my face because I'm, I'm leaving now. Um, I'm going to continue talking though. So here we go. Inscribed angles and inscribed quadrilaterals. Okay. Not sure how much I'll get to the quadrilaterals, although um, I'll do, you know, a bunch of examples. And a lot of these examples are up there too on um, in Miss Ayub's examples already. So you don't have to, you know, follow along with this video if you don't want to. I'm just kind of showing you how to go about doing some of them. Okay. This is your homework. Okay. Once again, you can get all this stuff right from here. These are PDFs um, that Miss Ayub has on her Google Classroom. Okay. And she actually made this do um, next week now. So uh, you have a little bit more time to to do this, but make sure that you're doing it, okay? Um, so this is the homework. I'll actually do that second. And first, I'm going to do the <clears throat> uh, this one right here, which is taking some of these notes, okay? So, and while I do it, while I take the notes, I'm going to explain what's going on, okay? So here we go. So we have some in inscribed angles. So an inscribed angle is an angle with its vertex. Okay. All right. So the inscribed inscribed angle here is right here. It's it's B. Okay. So um, the vertex is on. Okay. We're going to type on the circle. Okay. So this angle, we're going to, let me draw this right here. Okay. This angle is the inscribed angle. Oh, Oh, that is purple. It's dark purple. Um, so the inscribed angle is right here. It's this little angle uh, down here. All right. And the circle, um, its vertex is on the circle, like I said, with two sides that are, what are they? They are chords. Okay. Remember, we learned this um, in previous, we learned this in previous lesson that these right here, these um, let's get a different color here to like red or something. These angles, ah, I didn't like it. Add them some more. Okay. I mean, these sides right here, this one. Okay. And this one are called chords. Okay, there we go. That's that. Now, an intercepted arc is the arc that lies between the what? Between the endpoints of an inscribed angle. End points. Okay, so an intercepted arc. So this is this intercepted arc right here. Let's get another color. Uh, let's do green. Okay, um, drawing. Okay, this. Oh no, no. Okay, this arc here. Let's get this green. This arc here is called is what's called an intercepted arc. Okay, 
and it lies between the two endpoints of an inscribed angle. Okay, the degree of the inscribed angle is equal to the degree of the inscribed angle is equal to half. Okay, oh. get purple. Half the measure of its intercepted arc. So, all right, so what we could do here is we could go over, actually, let me zoom in. Let's take this time to zoom in. Okay. Um, and I'm going to draw this. So now we know, change it back to dark purple. Now we know that the measure of angle A, A, B, C, the little purple angle in there, okay, is equal to half half of the measure of arc AC, okay? So we do AC, ooh, ooh, okay? All right, so between here, right? No, so not only do we know that this is, um, this angle is, this angle is going to be half this, right? We also know that this is going to be double, this right here, this a, from A to C, is double this angle. Okay, so we could use that. We're gonna use that, I'm sure. I'm sure we're gonna use that later on in this lesson, uh, pr probably pretty quickly, okay? So let's look at this text box. Um, intercepting a diameter, intercepting a diameter. If an inscribed angle intercepts a diameter, then the oh it says then 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 the then then <laughs> uh it is a right angle okay so the measure of angle b so we're going to start here b let's do this drawing so b a C right here. Okay, we see this. It's it's a over drawing, I know. Um, but B A C right there, that's a right angle because look, um the intercepting angle intercepted the diam di the diameter. Okay, you see this right here? Okay, it went right through that diameter. Okay, one of the lines went right through the diameter. So we know that this angle over here is a right angle so the measure of angle bac if it's a right angle obviously guys right <coughs> okay is let's do this uh 90 degrees okay it's 90 degrees we know that um overlapping arcs overlapping arcs if two inscribed angles intercept the same arc okay then the angles are congruent um that's that's pretty easy to understand. So basically what's going on here, okay, is these two, because, right, um, they're intercepting the same points. So C, C goes to A and D, and then B goes to A and D, right? We know that the, that the um, inscribed angles, Okay, these, this angle and this angle, we know that those two angles, B and C, basically, are going to be congruent, okay, congruent. So I'm just going to write congruent in there, okay. So learn a bunch of different things here about how um, these uh, arcs and you know, diameters and all, all this stuff and intercepting angles and scribing angles, all this stuff. We're, we're learning a lot of stuff here about how this is working out. So the measure of, of angle ABD, ABD is going to equal the measure of ACD, right? Okay. So um, that's, that's the answer. Okay. The measure of angle ABD is an equal to ACD. Okay. The measure of angle ACD. Okay, we can see that as this is pretty, you know, like a pretty easy one. 
Okay, so here we go. So now we're going to use all these these notes here for for this uh, the rest of these problems here. Okay, um, directions find each angle and arc measure. Okay, so we have the measure of angle of W W X Y. That's what they want us to find. What is what is that equal to? Well. We remember we found out that the degree of the inscribed angle is equal to half the measure of the intercepting arc. So here's the intercepting arc, right? Okay, so this Z is going to be, or, or, um, or sorry. <laughs> oh, Z is this midpoint, sorry. Uh, that's the, yeah, the midpoint of the, th of the circle. So anyway, so if we have this, this is the arc, then, W, the measure of angle W, X, Y, okay, right in here, right, the measure of angle W, X, Y is going to be half this. So half, right, half of 62 equals what? What does that equal? You know what? Let me zoom in here a little bit more. So my, um, my, uh, drawings will come out better uh, zoom in a little bit more perfect okay so half of 62 right is what what is half of 62 we know that's easy right we can just do half of 62 which is 31 okay 31 degrees um number two okay let's go over number two now we know that once again so if this if this angle in here is half then this whole arc in here is going to be double that, which is going backwards, right? So two times 113, okay, is going to be equal to 226 degrees, okay? Um, this one's obviously ridiculously easy, okay? Because it goes right through the, this, the, the center, right? Remember, it's going to be 90 degrees. So if you ever see this, okay, we have P, Q, R, right? We go P, Q, R. Then that is equal to 90 degrees. I'm sure that they're going to get tricky, tricky with how they, you know, show us this, but um, we'll, we'll get it done. I'm sure. Okay. Find the measure of angle B, C. Okay. Well, we can find this first. Right, boom. Right, okay. Um, we can find out when and and how do we find that out? We can find that out that. Um, oh, sorry, it's not it's not a measure of angle BC. It's it's arc BC. So they want this. Um, let, me, let me get rid of that. Undo, undo. Okay. So really, they're really looking for this in there. Okay, they're, they're asking us what this arc here is. What is this arc? So we know that, obviously, okay, 2 times 47 is going to come out here, and that's going to be 94. Okay, that's 94 degrees. Now, interesting, this is interesting, because we can figure out that this is 180 80 degrees, because it's this line, once again, it goes through the center, we can get this as a rule, but we can see this kind of, okay, we could figure this out, that this is half of a circle. So half a circle, half of 360 degrees is 180 degrees, okay? So that kind of makes sense too. So this is 180 degrees. This is 94 degrees. So what do we have to get to get all the way up to, uh, right, up to 360? So we could do 180 um, plus 94 and we could do 360 minus 180, right? Minus 94. Okay. And what does that equal? Well, that equals 86 degrees. Okay, we can figure that out. That equals 86 degrees. Okay, that's how we got that in there. That's how we got that little thing there. Okay, so let's look at the measure number five. Let's look at the measure of angle J, K, L. Okay, well, um, they give us, I mean, 
This is pretty, this is quite interesting. They give us that um, this length is 65. This is 63, uh, 53 degrees. So we could do, how about this? How about we do um, 360, right? Minus 65 minus 53. What is that? What do, what do we get there, right? Well, we get that this whole thing then is, okay, that's going to be equal to, that's going to be equal to um, 242 degrees, okay? Because we know that a, a full circle, this full circle is 360, so we have to do, you know, around there, 53, 53 plus 65 plus 242, that equals 360, okay? Now, I'm going to take a look at this angle in here. So we're doing this angle JKL. Well, we know that if this arc, if this arc is 242, then half of the arc is going is going to be this circle. I mean, this angle. Okay, so JKL is 121 degrees. It's pretty simple stuff. It's pretty interesting stuff, to be honest with you. You know, if you have a circle, right? If you have a circle, you could kind of figure out some of these parts to it. It's pretty, I think it's pretty neat. You know, this is the nerdy part, but um, I think it, I think that's pretty, it's pretty cool. Okay. All right. Once again, so now, you know, like I said, there are going to get more tricky. This looks like it's a pretty complicated problem, but in actuality, it's, it's really not, it's really not that difficult. Number six. Okay. So, if we take a look at this, right, we have 64, we have 139, we have 75, okay, 64, 139, and 75. Now, we have to subtract that, obviously, from 360, okay, we do 360 once again, 360 minus 64 minus 139 minus 75, and then we get that this is going to equal 82, okay, I don't need to walk you through all those parts, um, just going to have you, you know, you, if you want to do it, do it. But what we're really looking for here is the measure of angle RST. So RST, so this little, okay, this little angle here and RUT. Now, um, RUT, okay. Now remember, what do they say? If two inscribed angles intersect the same arc, then the angles are congruent. So they do intersect, okay? S goes to R, S goes to T, U goes to R, U goes to T, okay? So these two angles down in here, these two angles are going to be, okay, congruent, all right? Um, that mean, That also means that because we have this angle, I mean, this arc is 82 degrees, these two angles, they're each going to be what? They're going to be half, okay? They're gonna be half of that, so we get 41 degrees and 41 degrees, okay? Okay. All right, there we go. So these are, once again, these are just basically, these are pretty much uh, notes for the most part, okay? Um, let's take a look at, uh, you know, solving for X and this is the same stuff we've been doing, but now they're going to throw that X in there, right? Okay. So we have this AX, this, this, this degree in here, this angle is equal to eight X minus nine. So we have to solve for X. So we know that this angle is half, this angle is half of this arc. Boom. So what's half of this arc? The uh, 158 divided by 2 is, let's do it down here, 79 degrees, right? So we're going to do 8x minus 9 equals uh, 79, okay? Draw a little thing here, okay? Plus 9, plus 9, 8x equals... Um, 88. Okay. Divide by 8. Divide by 8. 
x equals 11. Okay, so that's our answer for that one. That's pretty simple. We can we can see all that. We can see how we got that. You know, 115 divided by 2, 79, because we want this little angle in there. Okay, number eight, solve for x. Okay, well, they give us this little angle now. Now we're going backwards, right? They give us this little angle now, and we know that 67. Okay. We know that 67 is half, 67 is equal to, 67 is equal to half of what, 4x plus 58, okay? We know that 67 is equal to, to half of that. So we could do one of two things here. We could multiply that half out. Um, 67 is going to equal, you know, if you do one half times, you know, you just do this like this, like this. Okay. Do that. Actually, that's probably, that's kind of what I'm going to choose to do here. Okay. Um, we could also alternatively, we could multiply both sides, but I think that's going to be more work. So let's just multiply that, that half out. So 67 equals one half one half times four one half of four is two one half times 58 is 29 okay um and now we're going to sub oh let's do this it's going to subtract 29 okay 67 minus 29 is what is 38. Okay, and then we have 2x divided by 2, divided by 2, and we have x is equal to 19. Uh, we could put that here, so 30 divided by 2 is 19. This cancels out, x comes down, and we have x equal to 19 here. Okay, so that's how we get that. That's how we get, um, oh, let's circle this because this is where this box or something around here because this is looking crazy that's looking crazy all right so now we have some answers there okay all right number nine no oh, we didn't do number nine okay I could do number nine. Um, looks like there's some other stuff here. It's kind of like out of order here. <laughs> Hold on. Um, Um, yeah, sure. Why not? Let's do number nine. All right. Well, we know, uh, for example, that this, this line here, um, all right, I don't want to make this video too long. So, but anyway, let, let me, I'll, I'll do number nine. That's fine. Um, let's look at this here. So we have this, this line goes right through remember it goes right through the center of the circle so that we know that this is going to equal be equal to 90. okay so we have 13 x minus 1 equals 90. let's do plus one and of course it works out nicely because you know we like nice problems like this okay we have 13 if you do it correctly that is 13 x equals now 91 okay Divide by 13, divide by 13, x equals um, 7. Okay. I'm drawing this. This is too thick here. There we go. Okay. So for the rest of these problems, to be honest with you guys, I'm actually going to have you guys um, try them out um, pretty much 
pretty much on your own. Let me zoom out. Maybe I'll do some other parts of it. Um, I don't know. Let's inscribe quadrilaterals. Oh yeah, let's let's go over that part of it. Okay, then you guys can do the rest of your notes um, as well. But we can do we can do a couple more problems here. And then the homework is just going over the same similar problems. So you should have no problem uh, basically, you know, doing those problems. So let me know, email me if you do, or contact me on Google Classroom. All right, so let's do the um, some of these inscribed quadrilaterals. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. Hopefully I have those uh, notes. Let me just kind of zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Um, Oh, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Inscribe quadrilaterals. All right, let's do this. Okay, so text box. If a quadrilateral is inscribed in a circle, then its opposite angles are supplementary. Okay. Supplementary. Okay. Um, which means, oh, now I'm going to have to zoom back in. Boom, zoom, zoom. Which means, right? So if it, if if opposite angles are supplementary, so quadrilateral is described so then its opposite angles are supplementary. Okay. So that means, let's take a look at this here. Okay. Oh, we got purple still. So that means that the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle C is going to equal 180 degrees. Remember, supplementary means supplementary means equal to uh, when they're added up means that they're they add to 180. Boom. Ah, boom. Okay, they add to 180. Oh, that looks horrible, but nah, I'm going to keep it. Um, so that means that, okay, so we have measure of angle A, A, and C, A and C equal 180 degrees. Okay, so this one plus this one equal 180 degrees. That's interesting. That's pretty cool. It's pretty neat. Neat little um, quality or, or attribute of a circle, correct? Then we can also say that, right, we're going to then we're going to do B and D or D and B are also supplementary. So the measure okay, of angle B and the measure of angle D is all are also. OK, supplementary. All right. So that's pretty easy. That's come on, guys. This is this is this is nothing here okay basically you're going to do this like over and over again for these problems here okay so find each value or measure okay so if they equal if they add up to 180 that means that j what's the opposite of j j l j and l are supplementary so if that's the case then i'm going to have to it says find uh j first so we're going to find 180 right minus 92 so j goes with l j goes with l so 180 minus 92 okay because we're looking at uh opposite angles right j goes with l so 180 minus 92 is equal to 88. this is super simple so that's that measure of angle k k goes with m so now we have to do 100, 180, boom, minus 180 minus 45. Okay, that is equal to 135. Boom. Okay, so we can write that in here. Obviously, we have 88, boom, and 135, boom. Okay, we're gonna just basically, like I said, we're gonna do this like over, 
over and over again for these problems, okay? What do we have here? We have this arc here is 126 degrees. We have this is 93. That means we have, we can know the opposite one here. Um, okay, well, yeah, they're gonna try to trick us up, right? 126 and 90, we have to figure out, we have to figure out um, what this is and then divide it by two, I'm sure, right? <laughs> Okay, so um, 360 minus 90 minus 126. Let me do that down here. 360 minus 126 minus 90. What's that going to equal? Um, <clears throat> I should go P. So, um, yeah, 360, let's do it. 360 minus 126 minus 90, right? 360 minus 126 minus 90, boom, is equal to 144. All right, cool. Fantastic. Okay, so that is equal to, that is equal to uh, 144, okay? 144 degrees now because the, so that right here remember that's just this arc here ah, that's just this arc right here and we know from our notes up above that this arc is two times this arc right here is two times um oh sorry no it keep, keeps going my back my back Okay, we know that this arc is two times uh, the angle in there. Okay, it's the angle P. So P, we're going to start with P, which is going to be 72 degrees. Okay, because 144 divided by 2 equals 72 degrees. Now that we know that, that this is 72, we can get R. Okay. Um, 72 plus something equal 180 so or 180 minus 72 which 180 minus 72 is 108 okay and then uh, measure of angle s which angle s is go um s goes with q so 180 minus 93 180 minus 93 is 87. Okay, and you know, to be honest with you, I think that's pretty much where I'm going to stop because um, I think I want you guys to do these uh, problems. Um, you know, pretty much, pretty much, uh, you know, not on your own. You can refer back to this video, or there are some other videos that are already up there, but um, I think that right here this is where i'm going to leave off for the day okay you can see how we get these uh you know from notes um at this point and i think this has been just probably just about a half an hour uh, a little bit more 33 minutes so this is where i'm going to stop at this point i hope you guys have um you know a good time doing these geometry problems if you have questions please please reach out to me and um, let me know how it goes. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend.